All right. Thank you so much, and welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. So as Barb indicated, we'll be talking about working with you today, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask those. We're going to be looking at good clinical practice for medical devices and applying some of the information that we know about ICH, GCP, which has been the standard for how we conduct those in in accordance with a controlled scientific and ethical process in addition to the regulatory requirements that we have. And we'll talk about ISO 14155 and some of the changes that it's undergone and how it's applied. Now, as a disclaimer, because ISO is a purchase document, we are able to extract and and provide some information about definitions. But for a, a better and fuller understanding of the document, that would be something that would have to be purchased. But we did want to pull out some of the highlights and really some of the differences to show where these are really complementary documents. We have the regulations that govern what we do, but we also have these guidelines. And we do see them tucked into protocols for uh, medical device studies. But it's interesting, oftentimes, we'll find where um, people are familiar with ICH E6, but not as familiar with ISO. And in some cases, unfortunately, even though the protocol requires that ISO 14155 be part of the study and be followed, when we go out and do our audits, we find that that information is not available to the sites or even to the sponsor staff or the CROs. So we're going to highlight some of these areas and certainly field any questions that you might have as we go through. So we'll focus on the purpose and governing bodies of both ISO and ICH. We'll look at the core principles of each document, really those ethical standards that are governing the the oversight of these studies. We're going to look at some similarities as well as key differences and then talk to you about additional sources of information, some of which you probably are already familiar with, but we tend to not think of them in terms of also integrating them with these guidelines. So first off, ISO is a standard. It's an international organization for standardization. It's a worldwide federal of national standards bodies, of which the U.S. is a party. In 2011, ISO 14155 was condensed from Parts 1 and 2 in its previous life uh, from 2003 to this document that was supposed to, uh, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but um, taking that information, combining it, and making it a little more user-friendly. And it really came about because of the thought that we did need something for medical devices that provided us with a clearer and specific reference to medical devices and a clear understanding of how we're supposed to function with those studies and that oversight. So it's a global standard on clinical investigation of medical devices. And it's titled Clinical Investigation of Medical Devices for Human Subjects, Good Clinical Practice. And we're going to compare this to ICHE6. So it addresses GCP for designing, conducting, recording, and reporting clinical investigations carried out in human subjects where we are assessing safety or performance of medical devices for regulatory purposes. It talks about protection of rights, safety, and welfare of human subjects making sure that we are conducting that protocol according to the plans that we have set forth so that we have a scientific approach to the conduct of that study and that we can rely on the credibility of the data that's generated from that study. It also speaks to the responsibilities of sponsors and principal investigators. And we'll see it's a little bit different from ICHE6, which also talks to us about the role of ethics committees or institutional review boards. It is used really as a tool for sponsors, investigators, ethics committees, regulatory authorities, as well as other bodies to determine whether these studies are being conducted in a uniform manner. And and again, applying these standards for making sure we have uniformity in our processes. The ethical considerations that ISO defines really are are very familiar to us if you're familiar with ICHE6, linking back to the Declaration of Helsinki. 